Today we're going to be talking about lighting tips and tricks in Fantasy Grounds. Just five tips and tricks to get you moving on a few, maybe not as normal lighting habits here. Now, ambient lighting is where we're going to start. Uh, and I think this is a somewhat underutilized feature to people new to VTT. Uh, but if you've been a player and you have been dropped onto a town or a forest and you have been limited to 60 feet of vision because your DM loves to enable the vision tactics even when it is bright daylight, uh, this is where ambient lighting comes in. You can see that I've already drawn terrain features for trees to block sight, and these could be buildings or whatever the case may be, but it's kind of annoying to be at noon in the middle of a forest and be told that you can't see. So if we go to the ambient setting, we can actually adjust the time frame of lighting and it will create an ambient effect here. So if we go and click sunlight, this is as if it is the middle of the day. Clicking the other ones will elongate shadows in other directions, shadows based off your walls and terrain features. So this lets you utilize a similar map in different time frames without you having to go and edit all of those. So if we change up the ambient setting here, what you'll see is we can go from daylight to nighttime. You continue having some level of colorized view nearby yourself, but as you move your character, you'll see that your light range travels with it. So you will only perceive to a certain degree out there, so you can tell when dark vision ends. Uh, this way, you can come back and forth to a map at different times a day. It can be turned off just as quickly as it can be turned on by reselecting ambient to none. Number two, the token torch. So otherwise, the player needs to move the light. So with the token torch, there are many spells and items that can emit light. You'll see this is a dark tunnel, a gnome relying on their dark vision, and they want to see colors. Well, you don't get to see colors unless you have a light source. So they summon a spell, or they light a torch. And you don't want to be burdened by it. Well, you can grab any old token, uh, which is what I'm doing, and as long as that token isn't assigned to a sheet, this token has no owner and also no light. Well, we can change that. So if we go into the light and we add a token light, we can choose one of the default settings or make your own, and we can add it to this token. Now, this token, this unowned token, now has a light source. It can be dragged around presumably you won't necessarily want to hand them this warforged companion uh, as their light source but it doesn't actually matter uh, I tend to carry a bunch of object tokens uh, on transparency because I'm you know fiddly uh, but if I grab something like a torch and I assign that torch the same level of lighting that we did for mr. random warforged uh, what the players can now do is control this light level themselves. All right, so uh, we give this un unowned torch movement, and now when the players move it around, you'll actually see that the light source drops in and out tokens that are within viewing distance based on the movement of that light source. Simulating a flicker. There's different secondary settings to some of the light sources here uh, and the flicker that is listed is actually talking about the edge view uh, creating more like a natural light a more fire or campfire view I'm going to be talking about a light flashing on and off now here we'll have these otherwise known as street lamps and we will assign some basic lights to the street lamps out here now given a scenario where it is nighttime or dark out, the players will be able to see into areas of light even if their dark vision doesn't extend there. Now we want one that's going to flicker in and off, on and off, right? So uh, the thing to do here is to place it down on pulse, uh, increase the rate at which this happens. You can utilize those settings to different numbers. Uh, I like to make it a smaller range because they stack and you'll see what I'm saying. We're going to end up putting multiple lights on top of each other and the lights range will stack. Now if I set one at a high degree you'll see this is the effect but that's not the randomized kind of flicker we want so we stack lights on top of each other at different intervals 
and then while these intervals will create set patterns most people aren't going to notice that you can make it a slower pattern by having two or three lights at a lower frequency uh, but this is going to cause the player's vision to come in and out in that area as that light flickers all right now if we then go and place a creature or something over there it can add some minor suspense like we'd have to move from that area of permanent light through the darkness and then maybe catch the flicker over here uh, especially if you know they're hunting or stalking prey or they're trying to be all stealthy like like parties try to be stealthy uh, either way you'll see the token comes in and out of their light they'll see out to their normal dark vision range but that flickering on and off light will cause them to come in and out of view of the token masking boundaries as soon as I slap down ambient light a few of you were grumbling about how now your players are gonna see the whole map and the answer is no, they don't have to so uh, you can limit things like ambient lighting with the mask so let's remove it and I'll show you why or how uh, let's just say we have this token and we only want them viewing inside this sunlit bright cavernous area well we can come in here the whole area is already ambiently lit uh, and then all we go to is the mask and we can enable the global mask this will black everything out so now we use these top features to reveal and hide right now I could just drag a random area but it's a little hard to see what I'm doing unless I go and disable the player view now if I open this area the player will only see this and in fact it'll look like a normal map to them they'll just see the black edges outside of that they won't even know there's supposed to be something out there all right so now the player thinks this is it but through your descriptions or through their trials they understand they can go other places and they say okay we want to go down that way and now they climb the wall and they come over here and we can reveal the area below them uh, I mean you don't have to sit here and match it up like this but I did so now they can see the area of the map below them and you didn't have to fiddle with lighting at all now if you had the if we had terrain or walls in here masking it they would continue working they would continue obstructing vision uh, so this is a way that even if it's on a big map and you don't want to deal with ambient lighting all the time you can do that so now token sight there are a few things that you can do with tokens tokens will have a default vision assigned by their character sheet and that default vision can be edited now we're gonna assign a base light level here ambience just so that it's more clear what I'm demonstrating here so we'll see that Roland has his base lighting he has a dark vision of 60 feet now dark vision doesn't impact certain features like casting a spell so if we drop a darkness spell on this ooze you'll note Roland's vision is impeded by it now he can go into the bubble but all his vision is impeded at that point or he can be outside the bubble and know that there is a bubble there right this is just typical darkness spell now if he uses magic to overcome this we can alter his vision into something or like true sight or blind sight and now that he has vision that can penetrate that darkness you'll see that his, the darkness no longer affects him he can move in and out of it and see through it without issue uh, just to demonstrate uh, we'll drag like Nissa out here and you'll see Nissa also normally with dark vision the bubble's still there right like she is still fully affected by this so uh, this is the manner in which you can alter tokens vision specifically so uh, thanks for watching and I hope this helped